So we're here at Rising Sun Karate. Well, I like to use this place and utilize it as more street self-defense. In the streets, if you throw a kick, it's like your, your pants might not be flexible. If you throw a punch, you might have, you know, your jacket restricting you. If you're, you know, going under and escaping, you might get your hoodie pulled. So we don't have the luxury of, you know, just stripping down in our fight shorts. So we have to kind of learn to adapt and, and uh, use what we have. So much stuff has happened in our, our world today that if we just have to pay attention to our surroundings, and if you see something, do something or tell someone, that's the idea, is just be aware of your surroundings. That's the key. In order to understand a weapon, you have to learn the weapon. If you don't understand it, you can't defend it. The emotions, all that adrenaline can take over and then you're throwing stupid stuff. I have the tiger and your heart right now will take over. And the fight is in with you. My students are great. We don't move them up to black belt because that they have to be. They have to be. So leaving you in the world with a false security of, yeah, I got a gun. What is that good if you can't drive? What is that good if you can't aim? What's the, what's, why is it good that you're training karate if you can't execute a move on the streets? Yeah, that, that burn. intensity as a black belt, you gotta put that in your katas. So when you're coming up and you're like, Rah! it's an imaginary fight between two or more opponents. Not hit. Hit. Well, you gotta get inside. You have to get inside. You can't be taken down like this. You're gonna get lift up, you're gonna get slammed, trust me. If I was hanging, most likely I'd be hanging out here because I know this is the wall. You know you're not running into someone, you're not running into tables, someone's not going to stab you in the back. You know that this right here is what I call the half moon. I can see everything from here to here. I don't want no one behind me. This is the half open moon. Behind me is the closed wall. Nothing behind me. So all I need to do is work about half moon self-defense. If I'm in the middle, I've got a full moon. I'm going to be working here. Boss, someone grabbing over here. Pummel, then we're gonna learn to turn, reach and turn. And then you're gonna be here and then we can do a, a takedown. Okay, we'll bull neck up, right? We bull neck. We're trying to pull his head down. Walk, walk, push. It's it. This top controls the clinch. It will push his head down. No matter how strong you are, your head will get pushed down. 